the mutant that we isolated originally made uh, small seeds in this plant Aridopsis. Normally they look pretty plump and nice and thick, but these ones looked like wrinkled and looked like raisins, like Aridopsis raisins. And instead of oil, they contain sugars, which is uh, what the plants use to convert it into oil. And so we called these seeds wrinkled and the mutant was called wrinkled. And then after we identified the gene, the switch, we called it the wrinkled gene. So it's called wrinkled one. And it comes from the wrinkly structure of the original mutant seed in Arvidopsis. Because oils are the most valuable component of most seeds, um, Anything we can do to increase oil is going to be very attractive commercially and is going to pay off for companies to, uh, to develop that. And so I think we're seeing that happening right now with some of the major um, companies are, uh, are moving into that. All these things take quite a few years to develop and commercially, but it's moving forward. It's one thing to discover a gene and a potential technology in the lab, but then to get it out to a crop plant in the field takes a lot of effort. Hopefully one day uh, we're going to see plants in the field that have this gene engineered in it, and we all know that uh, John and I participated in making this progress. <laughs>